I would like to preface this video with the disclaimer that I am not a mental health provider. This is not advice or a guideline for you or treatment. I just wanted to let you know where I'm coming from. Okay, on with the video. Hi, welcome back to Whatnots. I'm your host, uh, One Na Na Na, um, also known as Shauna. That's my name. Yep. And I'm coming to you from Southern California, where I live currently with my daughters and my dog and my cats. So uh, I am coming you to you today with somewhat of a darker episode. So just general uh, warning about that one. My, uh, you might want to just consider the subject matter. I'm going to go into some some very, you know, serious type stuff. Uh, so trigger warning, all of that going on. But today we are discussing knitting, comma, anxiety. Mostly, mostly, uh, not knitting anxiety, just mostly anxiety. And uh, I was kind of excited when I was looking at my YouTube channel and realized this is only episode two, really. So, of my, I guess this is my knitting vlog. So I'm still new at this, you know, I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, and I, I think, I think I, I, I may have an idea of what I'm doing now. Um, I've been watching a lot of, uh, knitting vlog type things lately and I've been enjoying uh, a lot of different ones. I will I will go into that in a separate episode but for now I really wanted to explain uh, why I took such a long break between episodes. It is currently January 29th uh, 2022. We are in year, I don't know, 42 of the pandemic? No, I, I, I just. However, we are in month, insert month here. Uh, hold on, let me do calculations. March, so that was 12 months last year. March will be 24. So we're 22 months into a, a pandemic. Um, and wow, that, that's been a lot for all of us. So, um, yeah, I wanted to address some anxiety issues that I've had, and hopefully that could be a help to you as well. So I wanted to point out, uh, that I was super excited about Vlogmas, which is a daily vlog video type thing for 24 days leading up to Christmas uh, in December, and I made it to day three. And the reason I made it to day three and then stopped was because on day three I did an Instagram live video and I went back and saw it and realized I couldn't hold the camera steady. Um, as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you. My hands are shaking. Okay. The more I try to like get them to stop shaking, they will keep shaking. So deep breaths, deep breaths. There we go. But if I focus on it, there it goes again. Okay. All right. Yes. Shauna, you've proven that, uh, you shake. Okay. So again, if you follow me on Instagram at one na na na, you may or may not have seen Vlogmas Day 3. You may or may not have even noticed that the camera was shaking, but I did. And I was so embarrassed and frustrated with myself. And I, I know that I shake. I know that this is an issue for me. Um, it, it's, 
it's been problematic. Surgery was never in my, in my, uh, the cards for me because I, again, I can't hold a head steady hand. I just, anything that requires calm, steady hands could, I, since I was a child, I've never been able to, to be steady with my hands. Um, and so a um, big portion of that is I have anxiety. So anxiety is, I have the definition. One second, where did the definition go? Ah, here we have it. Webster's definition of anxiety is uh, worry or unease. Uh, worry or, I have it right here. Worry or unease about something with an uncertain outcome. I mean, this is why pandemic anxiety is a thing. It's, uh, it, 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 we don't know when this, is, um, pandemic is going to end. We, there's, there's uncertain outcomes about, you know, whether or not you'll get very sick if you, you catch the virus. It's, it, there's a lot of uncertainty going on here with a pandemic. So a lot of people have had an increased anxiety level, which completely makes sense. Um, however, I would, I'd like to point out that, um, I, personally, I've noticed myself, um, I've had a better handle on my anxiety during the pandemic. Uh, knitting is a big part of that. The fact that I've taken up knitting during the pandemic, very helpful. Uh, prior to the pandemic, I was, I only knew crochet and now I do both, which is so helpful for me. But uh, I've actually been diagnosed with, I've been diagnosed with a general anxiety disorder. So, um, let me go ahead and get the definition. So there's this diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders, fifth edition. Um, there's this manual that exists for, for doctors that has criteria over what different mental illnesses are. And in it, there's, there's one called generalized anxiety disorder. And the fifth edition uh, includes definitions such as excessive anxiety and worry. The person finds it difficult to control worry. Um, the anxiety and worry is associated with the following uh, restlessness or heat up or being on edge, being easily fatigued, uh, irritability, muscle, muscle tension, sleep disturbance, difficulty con concentrating or mind going blank. So these, you know, you can quantify these obviously. And this is, this is what the, uh, psychiatrists and therapists do is this is what psychiatrists and therapists do when they diagnosed general anxiety disorder, which, like I said, I have been diagnosed with, which is part of the reason I shake and I, I, that is the key signs that I have pretty bad anxiety. Um, it is something I cannot control and I need to do things like the deep breathing exercises in order to, um, in, in order to calm myself. So I'm able to not treat necessarily, but I'm able to control my anxiety um, with things like deep breathing, meditation, and knitting. Um, this is where it, I'm going to go into a little bit more. So again, if you are uh, concerned, um, then I need you and I need you to step away from this video. Um, obviously I'm, I'm not going to talk about a, a ton of knitting right now. So 
I've actually been uh, further diagnosed um, with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and I'm seeing a trauma therapist for I'm seeing a trauma therapist for uh, sexual abuse that occurred to me um, when I was less than 10 years old. Um, this is prolonged. It happened over multiple times for a few years. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it. And I'm not going to go into any further detail about it. So there. Uh, like I said, knitting helps. I've, my therapist has told me that the idea of keeping my hands busy, focusing on something to do, um, and, uh, something about keeping part of my brain active. I don't know. Doctor stuff. Meh. Um, knitting absolutely helps. Um, and in the past month, I've done a lot of knitting. During the holidays, I was stressed, so there was a lot of knitting to be had. Uh, there was this, uh, what was it, the As If Tea. Uh, I will go ahead and put it up here. The As If Tea was my first sweater that I completed in early December last month. Uh, the, it was just lovely and I enjoyed it. I can't wait to knit up another one. Um, I finished a pair of socks using the Bellish app, just a, a German row short, wait, a short row heel using a uh, German short rows just a pair of socks to gift away. Um, I finished this month uh, another sweater, um, the Palm Your Knits sweater, which was so much fun. I hope to have that done by my birthday, which was in um, Christmas Eve. I, I was born Christmas Eve, so, but I finished it earlier this month, so just a little late, but I really, really enjoyed that knit as well. And then I knit up, uh, I didn't knit, I crocheted, uh, a, a pillow. Um, what did they, what, what is it called? Chach, chachis? It's boobies. I crocheted some boobies and I just, I love it so much. It's such a fabulous neck pillow. Um, it makes me super happy. So I have been busy and I've noticed when I'm more stressed and more anxious, uh, the more I, I create. Um, there was a time, like I said, uh, before the pandemic, I was so anxious and so full of anxiety. I couldn't, I couldn't even crochet. I couldn't, it, I couldn't, I couldn't really do any of my coping mechanisms because I was just trying to survive. It was, it was awful. It was miserable. And, um, again, the knitting, the other things I do, I go running, um, I was drinking a lot. Um, these are not, these are not treatments to anxiety these are coping mechanisms. They're ways that you just deal with the fact that you have such horrible anxiety. Again, for me personally, it, it comes across so bad that I shake. But the thing is, in, in life, things are going to cause you anxiety. Things happen. Life happens. Again, anxiety is a, is a worry about things that essentially are out of your control. There's a, an, an uncertainty of, of what the outcome is going to be. You, you know, again, taking the pandemic, there is so much uncertainty 
about what's going to go on there. And right now there's a bunch of uncertainty in my life about what's going on here that uh, there's a lot of anxiety. So, and what better way to deal with anxiety than to knit? I mean, knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl, knit pearl. There's a pattern. There's a repetition here. There's, there's not an, uh, an uncertainty, uh, uncertainty to the outcome. There is just repetition. Um, it's a routine. It's almost meditative. You know, there's this needle yarn loop repeat 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 it is so so very comforting when so much more is out of my control and i don't know what's going on i love love the certainty the the absoluteness that comes with knitting especially with knitting a pattern because you know what it's supposed to look like you know the stitches that you're supposed to do you know all the numbers you have everything in your literally in your hands and for someone who shakes it's funny because I, like right now, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit while I'm knitting, but it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Um, because as long as I do the needle, yarn, loop, stitch, needle, yarn, loop, stitch, needle, yarn, loop, stitch, I got this in the bag. I have every intention of just keep going. Because again, the anxiety is going to happen. Everyday life is going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off this video and I'm going to go outside and deal with everything that I have to deal with, namely life in general. And it's hard because it's, again, has an uncertain outcome. And if you find yourself in this situation where you have so much anxiety, it's hard to deal with life in general. Uh, you might find yourself knitting a lot. The only thing is knitting doesn't fix the anxiety. It just relieves it for a time. And in order to actually fix the anxiety, you probably need to see a therapist. You need to deal with it. Um, and the problem with that is that will have an uncertain outcome. You, you don't, you don't know how to deal with it. It's so it's a catch 22 in dealing with the anxiety. It causes anxiety, which is frustrating. Um, however, I would like to point out that um, if you're anything like me, and let's face it, you probably are a little bit. As my one of my old bosses used to say, Shauna, you're weird, but you're not that weird. So the thing is, while you crave that re repetition, you crave the pattern, pun intended, of knitting or crocheting, you actually also like new things because unless you knit or crochet the same towel pattern or, uh, you know, the same knit pearl stitch forever, the same scarf in the exact same color, in the exact same yarn, you actually really do like a little bit of diversity. I mean, there's different things going on that you're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm comfortable with doing things a little bit different. 
um, you know, I'm comfortable with doing decreases on a hat or short rows for a sock or, you know, I've, I've worked in worsted weight yarn, I've worked in fingering yarn, you know, I've worked with acrylic, I've worked with wool. Whatever you're comfortable with is what you're comfortable with. It's, I would like to point out, I am not a mental health professional in the very least. Uh, I am an engineer by trade, but this is something that you can do. This is something that you should tackle. And I wanted to point it out today because it's been such a huge part of my journey. And I wanted to share that part with you and encourage you if this is part of your journey as well, dealing with the anxiety and the debilitating feelings of being overwhelmed or t terrified so that you can't sleep or you can't enjoy the things that you love or the people you want to hang out with, then seek help. I'm going to put some references of some uh, therapy YouTube channels that I follow and that I love. And uh, there are a lot of different options for you, but they're going to cause a little bit of anxiety because again, the outcome is uncertain. You don't know what, how you're going to have to deal with your level of anxiety, which is a little, a little scary. The good news is that you'll have knitting to help and, uh, I'm here. So if you have something that you're super concerned about and you think, oh my God, I don't know who to talk to or, or what to do. And you just want to reach out to someone, feel free to message me. Again, I will send you to a, a bunch of different therapy resources, uh, depending on what exactly your situation is. Because everyone's different. Everybody has different uh, ways to deal with what they're dealing with. And my, uh, my coping mechanism, one of them at least, is knitting. And, you know, maybe that's for you too. Maybe it's not. But thank you so much for joining me today for this video. And uh, I'm really hoping that I continue conquering my anxiety by make, continuing to make these videos. They won't all be like this. I, I, uh, like I said, I will talk more about the knitting, um, as we, we, uh, we progress forward in my journey, but addressing the, uh, anxiety for me was a big issue. So if you see me, um, shake or if I seem really off in one of my videos, it's, it's anxiety. And I, I might just go back and point to this one, which makes a nice episode too, of, you know, knitting and anxiety sometimes just go together and, uh, that's the way it is. Thank you so much for joining me today on my journey. I wish you all the luck with your journey and I'll catch you next time. Take care. All right. One na 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 take 17 and a half. I think this is good.